Let's talk now about the urban trend forecast. What's in store for some of our larger cities in the future? We're looking at increased pedestrian zones, increased EV electrical vehicle charging stations, more bike lanes, energy optimization criteria for public buildings, and costs for taking waste to landfill. What kinds of challenges do these changes pose for the transport and logistics sector? How to get from A to B without sacrificing time and delivery? How to upgrade already existing facilities? And how to put in place a recycle program that will avoid diverting waste to landfill? A lot of cities have already embarked on a green path. For instance, Barcelona has created a metropolitan ring that surrounds the area with a bike path and they have 200 kilometers of bike paths already in use. Madrid next year plans to divert a lot of auto and transport lanes to bike lanes. Temperature controls in offices in Madrid cannot be higher than 21 degrees in the winter and 26 degrees, lower than 26 degrees in the summer. The city of Amsterdam has decided that the combustion engine will not be on its streets as of 2040 and has installed 225 electrical vehicle charging stations and has an order for another 600 for the next year. We're going to be seeing a lot of tolls for driving through city centers. It's actually a European-wide trend and as of November, in two weeks, Denmark is going to institute an eco-sticker in four of its cities, which means all foreign licensed trucks are going to have to pay for an eco-sticker to drive through these cities, and all these trucks have to be fitted with an authorized particle filter or they have to adhere to Euronome 4 standards, or they pay incredible steep fines of 2,700 euros per infraction.